So the numbers just dropped and they are really interesting. OpenAI crawled at just 9% growth while an unknown AI exploded 8,000%. ChatGPT's market shares have crashed from 76% to 59% in just one year. Meanwhile, enterprises are dumping OpenAI for Anthropic, who now controls 42% of all co AI coding. So after building software for a long time, it's interesting to watch a leader fall this fast and is definitely showing the cracks. Are we watching the death of a closed source AI? Is OpenAI becoming the Yahoo of artificial intelligence? Today, I'm gonna to dive into some statistics and show you why building your, op your own AI on open source is crushing the proprietary giants and why real software principles beat AI hype every single time. Let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we love to build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so the AI landscape landscape has just flipped. The data from Similar Web, Menlo Ventures, and Enterprise a Survey, uh, an Enterprise Survey, paints a clear picture. OpenAI's monopoly is crumbling. Anthropic is eating their lunch in enterprise, and open source is winning where it matters. So we're going to dive into the numbers that no one's talking about. Now, as always, make sure you drop a comment down below because I'm interested to hear your take. And are you still paying for ChatGPT or have you switched? Seriously, your comments make my day. So like, leave me a comment here because it's the best compliment that I can give. All right, so let's jump into this here because I think this data is really interesting to take a look at. I think it's gonna really help us to, uh, to take a look at what, what things we've got going on here. Let me just zoom in here just a bit. So what we're looking here is generative AI site by category, right? And we're going to look at all these different global AI traffic, a lot of different uh, pieces here. So one of the things I find most interesting here is general AI tool statistics, right? So you can definitely see that the red is really starting to grow. And who's red? It's Gemini. Meanwhile, we see OpenAI. And now this is just since April, right? So this is the last six months. Now, this is a survey by, Open, by SimilarWeb, who is generally considered one of the biggest um, trackers for web traffic, right? So we can see that OpenAI has had kind of some bouncing around here, right? Especially through the summer months, but even still, they never recovered after summer. So we can see that uh, we can see that Gemini is definitely eating their lunch. Now we can also see that Grok Grok share is growing just slightly, but not much. So when we come to general traffic, right, six months ago, seventy-five percent of AI traffic was OpenAI. Now it's much lower than that. So we see that OpenAI is definitely continuing to drop over and over in every single category. So uh, when we talk about DevOps and coding tools, right? Cursor is definitely, uh, you know, the big one here. Lovable is one of the ones that's starting to come up uh, really big on these. Um, let's talk, I don't really care about the char char uh, character AI because if that's what you're you wasting AI on, then okay. But we can definitely see that, you know, over design and imaging, people are definitely not using, um, you know, ChatGPT or else they're lumped into the all others, right? Um, for content writing here, right? We're seeing a lot of different content writing tools. Um, but really, I think the overall one that, that we were really looking at here is uh, is this this very first one here. And this is one of the pieces that I wanted to kind of show because I think this um, these metrics right here are the ones that I really wanted to pay attention to. But we can see that OpenAI is really starting to lose their market share really quickly. And this is what we're going to dive into a bit here. So DeepSeek posted 8,000% growth while ChatGPT limped along at 9% growth. It's not a typo. This unknown startup went from 450,000 users in October to millions by December. Um, now, meanwhile, ChatGPT's growth has basically flatlined despite having 800 million weekly users. So when the incumbent grows single digits while newcomers grow thousands of percent, the disruption is starting to be noticed, right? So the, the era of chat GPT or nothing is officially over. Anthropic now owns 32% of enterprise LLM market share, while OpenAI dropped to 25%. Just two years ago, OpenAI had 50% of enterprise share. They lost half their market dominance in the enterprise space in the last two years. Claude captures 42% of all AI coding workloads compared to OpenAI's pathetic 21%. Enterprises are voting with their wallets and they're voting against OpenAI. So this isn't consumer preference. This is where the real money gets spent is in the enterprise space. Now Anthropic generates $211 per user while OpenAI scrapes by with $25 per user. That's an eight times difference in monetization efficiency. Claude users pay with real money. Anthropic hit $4 billion in revenue revenue, making them 40% of OpenAI's size with 5% of the users. I want you to think about those numbers for a minute. 
Op uh, Anthropic is $211 per user, while OpenAI is $25 per user. So 8x different on efficiency. OpenAI has the masses, but Anthropic has the enterprises who actually pay. So the business model matters more than the user count here. So developer tools using open source grew uh, with open source AI grew 72 to 75 percent year over year. Lovable exploded 928 percent in growth. Cursor hit a 97 percent growth, all building on open models. Now Meta's Llama 3 now matches uh, ChatGPT 3.5 performance while being completely free. Companies can run these models locally, keeping data private and cost predictable. That's how we do it here at Startup Pack. I don't use these open uh, open services. We use open source, build it all in-house, and build it so that my clients own the IP and they own the whole process end-to-end. -end. So the cost to match ChatGPT quality dropped from, million, from millions to basically zero. ChatGPT's market share crashed from 76% in January 2024 to 59.5% today. So they're bleeding 1.5% market share every month to competitors. Microsoft Copilot grabbed 14%. Google Gemini took 13%, and Claude is growing the fastest. So when you lose a quarter of your market dominance in one year, you're in trouble. And every percentage point lost represents millions of users switching platforms. So the monopoly of open AI is dead. We're entering the era of AI competition. Now, really quick, I'm curious to hear what your guys' experience are. Are you building with open AI, or have you switched to alternatives? Leave a comment down below because I read every single one of them. Let me know what your thoughts are. Also, if your company has systems that aren't connected, reach out to us because our specialty here is connecting systems. So check out startupact.com slash Spencer. Now, only 10% of enterprises have actual production AI deployments. 90% are just playing around with it. 80% are experimenting with AI but can't show real ROI. Most AI projects never make it past the proof of concept phase. So the implementation gap between promise and reality here is massive. We're six months away from great AI budget massacre. Now, AI coding tools are only are the only category showing consistent value delivery. GitHub Copilot ecosystem became a $1.9 billion market in 12 months. Every major tech company now uses AI for code generation. Developers are roughly about 10 to 20% more productive with AI assistance. And this has been proven over and over again. Even just on the autocomplete alone, you're more productive. And here's the kicker. They're increasingly using open source models, not open AI. Real developers want control, not black boxes. Open AI burns $5 billion annually while generating $3.7 billion in revenue. They're literally losing money on over $200 per month chat GPT pro plan. Infrastructure costs are crushing every AI company except for those using open source. Running your own Llama model costs pennies compared to OpenAI's dollars. So when your unit economics are negative at scale, you don't have a business. Smart companies are realizing they can 90% of their quality at 10% of the cost. Now, enterprises discovered OpenAI was using their data to train models, and major companies are pulling back from cloud AI due to security concerns. Anthropic caught OpenAI employees using Claude to build GPT-5 and then cut them off. Companies want AI they control, not services that leak their secrets. So open source lets you run everything locally with zero data exposure. Privacy isn't optional anymore. It's mandatory for serious businesses. Now, vertical AI solutions are crushing general purpose chatbots. Companies abandoning do everything AI for focused, specialized, niche down tools, just like we've been predicting here on the channel for a while. Domain specific models outperform general models by at least 3x their specialties. This mirrors my time in software. Specialized always beats generalized. I remember I had a friend who built just the CRM system that wasn't all that great, but it was specialized to a niche category and he made a killing. Real businesses need solutions, not Swiss Army knives. The future belongs to AI that solves specific problems exceptionally well. Now, GPT-5 improvements over GPT-4 were marginal and we've hit the point of diminishing returns. Open source models caught up to 90% proprietary performance. Users can't tell the difference between Llama 3 and GPT 3.5 in blind tests. The easy gains are gone. Each percentage improvement now costs exponentially more. Physics and economics are, cover, uh, are converging to cap capabilities. When open source is good enough, nobody wants to pay for proprietary. So companies building with real software principles are winning. Version control, testing, deployment pipelines, the basics matter more than the AI magic. Enterprises want reproducible, debuggable, maintainable systems. 
AI isn't exempt from software engineering best practices. The company is treating AI like any other dependency are succeeding. So after my years of building systems, the fundamentals always win. I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think is going to happen with OpenAI? Are you paying for it? Do you see a shift? Is your corporation saying, hey, let's go to OpenAI? I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts. Leave a comment down below and make sure to like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out if we can help your company get your systems connected. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer and here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without a expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems. It positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.